Good morning. Today is the day I'm shipping out. Why isn't this focusing? I'm shipping out all my dorm boxes. It's bright and early, 7.56 a.m. And we're going to the UPS store. Good morning. By we, I mean me and Papa. If your new Papa is my grandpa and he's the best, you would literally think that I'm moving into an apartment with the amount of boxes that I have. But there's a rug in there, there's a mirror, there's an air purifier. Everything has a purpose and a reason. And then a couple decorations. And I stuffed one of the boxes with some clothes too that I know I'm not gonna be wearing. So that's the stitch. I filmed a little bit on Monday, so I'll answer that here. Just packing the boxes and the whole shipping thing. All of the dorm boxes have been moved downstairs. This is what we're working with. This is new, this is my headboard. And all of this is new from Dormify. I was so excited when they reached out about helping me decorate my dorm. They sent me all this stuff someone unbox it but i'm kind of stressed because allegedly the ups is going on strike and this whole like home to dorm ship program is through ups so i need to get this all shipped out today so that it arrives to the colorado ups store by the 31st which won't be super hard to do like i think pack everything up won't take me that long but then i have to weigh every box measure every box so it will generate me shipping labels and anyway that's today's big task and i've done this appointment at 11 but i'm gonna open this baby up this thing is packed to the brim it's sad to unbox it because i know i'm just gonna have to pack it all right back up it's almost 10 o'clock so i have like 45 minutes before i have to leave so it's time to grind Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this. I want to thank Dormify again for sending all this stuff and helping me decorate my dorm. I'll be talking a lot more about it on move-in day and I'll provide links and everything like that. So stay tuned for all that. But I'm going to unwrap as much as I can now because I feel like that makes the most sense. Otherwise, I'll have plastic wrappers all over my dorm the day I move in. So here we go. First thing is a bed skirt. That way I can hide all my stuff that I don't have room for under my bed. This is my comforter. It's really similar to the one I have now. It's just a natural off-white color. I seriously don't know what this is. It's the mirror. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna leave this in the box. I just tore that thing apart. Okay, moving on. I'm really excited about this because I don't think I'll have a nightstand depending on where my bed is in the room. And this is a bedside caddy. That way everything I need will just be right next to my bed. Next is this rolling pop-up hamper that also has a long strap for carrying it. I saw people recommend the backpack one. I also saw just general foldable ones and someone was like, get one with wheels. So I like that this is both foldable and rolling. I also got white sheets. I need to wash these before I get them. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put these in the washer. Oh my gosh, this thing is massive. Next is this green pillow. I love this and it totally fits the vibe of the room. I'm going for neutral with pops of color and I love this pillow. Next is this blanket. I don't know if I'll put this over my chair or on my bed because I have a black chair. We'll see what looks best. I should probably also leave this in the box, but it's my desk lamp. Another pillow. Last, I think this will be the most helpful and I'll probably put all my shoes in here. This massive underbed storage bin, it can zip up and go on wheels. So you can just roll it easily out from underneath a bed. So that is all for the Dormify haul. Thank you again to Dormify. I'll be talking a lot more about them closer to move-in day. I need to pack everything up and then go to the dentist. I just threw the sheets in the washer and the dryer. And the whole reason this is so difficult is because I have to fill out all of this. The length, width, height, contents, weight and value of every single box. This is everything. You literally think I was moving into an apartment. But it's really not what it looks like because I have hangers in there, my headboard, comforter. I put clothes in a box. Not all of them, but just big jackets and big things. It'll be hard to pack a suitcase. I do not look well right now. I've been sweating. The entire car and driving into Texas. Yeah, Allie's driving and I'm flying. It's gonna be hectic. It's gonna be amazing. Also, get this. Two things. First, I drove all the way to the dentist and then they turned me away because my appointment wasn't covered by insurance because of the time timing of when I got my wisdom teeth out. I just needed to wait longer, so I'm just gonna reschedule. And also, my dad just sent me an email that the UPS workers are no longer going on strike. It's honestly a good thing that they sent out the whole warning email about them going on strikes. I probably would've waited until the very last minute to do this if it weren't for that. Here they are, all loaded up. The great Hachi Wachi comes through again. We did it. The boxes are all shipped off to Colorado. And Papa has a hernia now. <laughs> From lifting all the boxes. We met this really nice man though that helped us he went to UCLA. bring a lot of them in. He went to UCLA. And his daughters went to GCU. Grand Canyon. 
and one went on a mission trip. And there's a Starbucks in there, so I got my pink drink. I'm such an idiot. I forgot I needed to get gas and I'm already down to five miles. This is choking me. I thought I could just gamble and make it there on time. Anyway, I'm at the gas station now. Getting gas and then I have to hopefully get there in time. I am ready for the second half of the day. I'm going to the beach. I cannot believe I made it through that class. This instructor is like the hardest one I've ever been to. And I was just dying. Anyway, I want to show you guys these bracelets before I go. I ordered them. I impulse bought them. Riley Ann Fox on TikTok. She wears these stacks of bracelets and I love them and she influenced me to buy them so I got these two they're kind of pricey but they're supposed to never tarnish or turn your skin green or anything and they're meant to be like sweated slept in swam in everything so I got these two bracelets and this ring that's the sitch I need to go eat lunch and put this on because I'm going to nail salon I'm thinking blue is the move I didn't get these on very long ago but they've already chipped and I know if I don't get them redone I'm gonna peel them all off and it's gonna be bad for my nails hi vlog it was a great day at the beach we had to park so far. We saw multiple sharks. Yes, multiple little baby tiger sharks. Yes. You know what really infuriates me? When people don't pull over for Yeah, I know. Like, what are you doing? It makes me so mad. Katie got slammed by a wave. My top fell down to my ankles. <laughs> it's really humbling. And I got hit on. <laughs> It was, so face. Face. it was so awkward. It was so awkward. He looked like he was 25. That's what really No, yeah, got. yeah. He looked so the old. The facial hair well, was just... I feel just... like you look older for your age, too. Yeah. But anyway. Come get your girl at Jackson. <laughs> anyway. Lauren's going to soccer, and I'm going to play pickleball. Bye, Mom. I love you more than a California Good morning everyone, happy Saturday. I thought I lost my contact, like I opened up the little package and it flung out, I had no idea where it went and I just found it stuck to the mirror. I'm babysitting most of the day, but before that, I need to finish getting ready. I'm gonna use this new makeup stuff that Frillian sent me. It's all skincare makeup for teen prone skin. I sent Allie last week to go pick up my pants and she came back with these and these are not my pants. So I'm gonna get to the bottom of that, hopefully. The thing about the tailor, I love him, he helps my family with all our alterations but he's so inconsistent like you never know if he's going to be open he doesn't really stick to his hours he's kind of in and out so hopefully i can get this figured out and get along with the day it's another hot day it's supposed to be like 80 something i don't know what the high is oh my gosh all done. The highlighter slays. It's on the tip of my nose and I put a little bit in the inner corners of my eye too. Also, I don't think I ever showed my nails, but here they are. The Taylor nails. I'm going for the debut look with my white dress and my cowgirl boots. Me, Allie, Grace, and Yasmin are all going together. And I've made an absolute mess of this bathroom. All clean. And now we're gonna go return the pants to the rightful owner. Morning vlog. Oh shoot. Today is quite the day. Oh crap. I'm a mess. I'm about to leave to go to the gym with Allie. I saw a TikTok yesterday, a sunscreen comparison of like a truck driver who spent like the majority of his life. Half of his face was in the sun because he was driving trucks and the sun damage. And so I will be religiously applying my sunscreen from here on out. Anyway, Matt gets his wisdom teeth out today. Allie got hers out on Friday. She's had a much smoother recovery than I did. I thought I had a really smooth recovery, but Allie's been so up and about and she's going to the gym today. She said she's I'm gonna walk on the treadmill, so it's not anything crazy. But I'm still amazed that she's made like this miraculous, you've gotta be kidding me, miraculous recovery. Day two, she was out shopping with my mom. Anyway, today is a milestone day because I finally learned to Dutch braid my own hair. It's not very good, it's really messy in the back, but the fact that I did it is really an accomplishment for me. It's something I've been trying to learn for a long time. Allie was yelling at me to be ready because as you know, I'm slow and late. I don't think this is gonna come out. I just put Tide Stick on this and I'm hoping it'll come out. It's 9.37 right now. Here she is. Do you wanna say hi to the vlog? She's swollen face like I did. It's really not, I really don't think it's 
Not bad. I don't think so either. I'm gonna attempt to eat this Gil Macro. See you at the gym. We're done at the gym. I tried to video, but my phone kept falling or the angle was just weird. It wasn't working out, but mostly just went on the treadmill stairmaster and did a little bit of weights. I just got to Nectar. Me and Allie are gonna get smoothies and then I'm gonna go see Matt. And then another reason today is so exciting is because I'm getting a lash lift. Me and Grace are both going for the first time. She's getting it because she's going to Italy and she doesn't want to have to do her makeup every day and all that and I'm just getting it because I've always wanted I to do it. I would understand why we can never arrive at a place and get out of the car. We have to sit in the car and rot for like 10 minutes before we can get out. <laughs> Secured the nectar. I got the peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter smoothie. I've never had it before. It's delish. And they put my smoothie in a bowl for me. So she can eat it because you're not supposed to drink out of a straw after you get your teeth out. The thing with the lash lift is that it lasts six weeks. So by the time it all fades away, I'll be well into like I'm well into. Well into Boulder. Two weeks into school pretty much. So hopefully I won't have to worry about doing my mascara at least for the first two weeks of school and the rest doing of summer. Doing mascara? Mm-hmm. Because it's a lift and tint. How much is a lift and tint? I don't know. I think it's like 80 bucks. I'm trying to figure out how much it's gonna cost. I'm sure they're gonna jack up the price because it's in a beach town where all the Isn't it funny? rich mommies go. No. The average cost in California for a lash lift and tint is $111. It's I mean that's 70 in Connecticut. I think you can get a kit and do it yourself too. If I really like it, I might do that. 153 in Louisiana. I went back in and ordered this for Matt. It's the same thing I got, but I had them put it in a bowl like Allie did. And Matt just sent me videos and he's super loopy. So I'm really excited to see him. I hope that he's still loopy. Matt was hilarious. He was really upset that I had to leave to get plastic surgery on my eyelashes. But here's the before. My eyelashes are curled right now, so it's not a true before, but I'll be back with the after. We are, this is gonna fall, Grace, can you grab it? Hey guys, so we just finished up at the wonderful, the one and only Target. Um, spent a lot of money because I had a dorm room shop. I had to get everything I needed. Everything, pretty much. Yes. Um, and Katie was my companion through it all, plus my mother. Can you show your lashes? Oh my god. Oh, I got. <laughs> went into my nose Katie's spot. been drinking her kombucha for the past Three five hours. hours. I got my lashes did. Wait, I never showed mine. Can you show them? Oh my god, that doesn't even what? It smell good. It tastes good. These are my lashes. I really love how they turned out, and I'm a little stressed about the tint that she got on my eyelid, You'll but she said it was gonna come off within the next 24 hours, so it's all good. What do you rate your lash lift experience? Oh, 10 out of 10. Me too, well, 10 out of actually, 10. actually, I got great. in my eye, because my eye was watering, so maybe take like- Nine out of 10? But like, it was a really, they look good, so I don't even care. Yeah. She's ready for Italy. I was Here's bored. what's sad. I was bored. I was like, it needs to be over. Here's what's sad about this experience. She has like three days left with me. Forget Matt, forget Ali. Grace is going on her Europe vacation extraordinaire as of Saturday, you leaving Saturday? After Taylor Swift. And I'm really sad about it. We only have three more days left together, which is heartbreaking. I should just spend the night, honestly. But I think it's we like a gonna hit me when I come back. So I only get one day I see her before she moves in. That's the day I'm gonna just be a wreck. Anyway, we're going inside and we're gonna pack up our dorm stuff. Oh, we ever get there to that. That's the plan. First, we have to pack for my Italia. European vacation. Look at me now. Anyway, we gotta go pack. See ya. I'm back in the car. You can barely see me, but I just got to MK's house. There was the most beautiful rainbow ever at Grace's house, and Allie came. We all had dinner together. I almost cried, but then I remembered I couldn't get these lashes wet for 24 hours, and I was like, I'm not letting that money go down the drain. It was 100 bucks, 110 bucks. So the Google search I did was right on the money. I just got to MK's. We're gonna roast s'mores for her birthday because her birthday was today, but she was playing soccer all day in San Diego. So she couldn't really do anything until now. My car is a nightmare just because I've been out all day in it. There's just so much random stuff everywhere. But I did get two things at Target. I got these command hooks to hang stuff in my dorm because I forgot about the Velcro ones and a second set of sheets. These were only nine bucks from Target in the dorm section and I only have one set of sheets and I figured it's a good idea to have two. So that's everything. I really need to do some editing. I've kind of taken a big break off YouTube this week just because I have some brand deals coming up so I needed to send in content for approval and it's hard to post when I have to wait for approval so I'd rather just take a break and then go back to my regular posting schedule. So that's what I'm doing. Hey guys. Oh, like, um, it's my birthday and I won yeah, surf cup so it's the best birthday ever and now I'm with Katie and Lauren and Melena 
and she Lenny. Was like, and we're doing like, oh, s'mores. Is that Kate? Like, was supposed to come too. She's supposed to come, but um, I don't know where she is. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Oh, so much. Katie's tired. I can't rub my eyes though. Matt got his wisdom teeth out. Yes. And she was like, oh. Um, is I've seen videos. Pretty silly. But I'm like best friends. Pretty silly. Pretty silly. Imagine if Katie edited her vlogs like um like Emma Chamberlain. That'd be so funny. You should do one of those. It's so much work though. It's so much work. What? Bye. It's 12:18. I just got home. 90% sure both my parents are sleeping. So we're good on the being late on the curfew. But I need to get all this stuff out of my car. You can't see. Hold on. I literally have a sleeping bag back here because I gave this to Matt to borrow for his camping trip. So I need to get all this stuff in the house. I got everything inside. My hair is crying to be washed, but I'm going to another hot yoga class at core power tomorrow and as you know i can't get these wet so i'm just gonna have to body shower tonight it's just so painful to sweat so much on clean hair so it makes sense to wait but i'm gonna make my tea i made a combo of these two last night and it was delicious so i'm just gonna do that again i've been wearing this all day also the background noise is my brother and his friend outside watching something at mock 50 volume <laughs> I love these teas, but they always have the weirdest, most esoteric sayings. I feel like I need to go on a cleanse. My stomach is not well. I ate so many s'mores. That's not enough water, sad. Look at the flowers. Stay tuned. Okay, I need to clean this place up and get out of these nasty clothes. I just cleaned up a little bit. Underneath my sink is tragic. That's my one of my projects for tomorrow. Organizing the bathroom, that was so much. And just purging all the stuff I'm never gonna use. It doesn't make sense to just have stuff lying around here while I'm gone. Last time people were absolutely flaming me for my bathroom organization. I posted a short and it literally got millions of views. I think it was a couple million. Anyway, it did really well on shorts and I had to turn off the comments because people were just going manic about the fact that I took away the rolling cart and put stuff in organizers under the hood. They're like, this is so unsanitary. I can't believe you know what. I'm like, I'm not a boy. I'm not missing the toilet. I always shut the toilet seat before I flush. People were just going a little feral in the comments about the fact that I put my contacts that are already covered. Nothing's getting inside of these sealed little packages under my toilet. Anyway, stay tuned on my shorts or reels or TikTok for organizing part two well. Perfect match. Think of my blue nails and the Taylor concert. I found this really cute green butterfly necklace that I'm gonna order. I'm just gonna wear my white dress that I wore for graduation. I can't remember if I mentioned this, but I thought about ordering something new, but I decided not to because it's just for one night. And I'd rather get cute accessories. It's also way late, so I was editing. It's two and it's bedtime. <laughs> I'm about to go to bed, but really quick, I want to end this vlog. On this note, I was reading from a devotional a couple nights ago, and I feel like this really spoke to me. It's from Matthew 14, when Jesus walks on water, and Peter is just doubtful. It says, Peter answered, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, and he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. What really hit me was the part when Jesus reaches out his hand and he says to Peter, You of little faith, why did you doubt? I feel like there's so many moments in life where we doubt, and the biggest doubt for me is going to college and whether or not I'm making the right decision, if I'm picking the right major, if I'm making the right decision to go to state. You know what I mean? You guys have heard my whole spiel if you've been keeping up with my videos and I just feel like God was talking to me in that moment like why are you doubting why do you doubt when time and time again Jesus has proven himself and proven that he can save us when we feel like we're drowning so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sending you lots of love and I will see you in the next one sorry it was all over the place I promise the next one will be a little more organized but if you watch all the way to this point, comment the best part of your week and I will send out Starbucks gift cards. I feel like it's the least I could do. I'm seriously so thankful for all of you and I just wish I could reach through the screen and give you a hug and just thank you for everything. So I will see you guys in my next video.